Captain's Log, Stardate 53854.7. Voyager was attacked by an unknown force and transported to some kind of starship graveyard, whereabouts unknown. The ship is heavily damaged. Communications, propulsion, and other systems are offline. Until repairs are done, we're utterly helpless. Stranded. Let's get this ship back together, Chakotay. Get damage control online. Harry, find out what you can about those other ships, and exactly where we are. Hi, Captain. Uh oh Captain, there's a containment leak in engineering. If we can't get it sealed, we're going to have a warp core breach. Ensign Monroe, you're wearing a hazard suit. Get down to engineering and help Alana seal that leak. Turbolift controls malfunctioning. Initiate vocal command using manual interface. Captain, we're drifting. Attempting Deck to 11, compensate engineering. for maneuvering thrusters. Hi everyone, and no, this isn't a repeat or your imagination or anything like that. This is the continuation of the Star Trek Elite Force LP. Now, I do apologize for there being such a massive delay on this. However, there are a few circumstances. I've been incredibly busy and uh, essentially working two jobs at this point in time. However, from November the 16th, that is going to stop and I am going to be exclusively working from home. So I'm going to have a few projects on at that point. Um, additionally, in the last few uh, weeks, there's been this game called XCOM release, so uh-oh, and uh, this looks a bit interesting. EPS conduits are gonna block! Hit that panel and bring up a containment feed! What are you doing? You mean like this? Uh, uh-oh. Maybe he didn't mean like that. Fortunately, with my magic time wand... Okay, we'll wait for him to limp past. I have ninja-style reflexes. Like this. Thanks, that was close. Where were you heading? I need to take a turbo lift to engineering. Well, the aft turbo lifts were the only ones working on this deck, but they're behind the containment field. The explosion must have shorted off this console. I, I think there's an override somewhere on this deck, but I'm not sure where. Gah, as usual, got to do everything myself. Anyway, let's just head down this portal and see where it leads us. Sorry, Monroe. The data shunt's been severed here. Everything down this way is shut off. Hey, we're getting a power surge here. Monroe, quick! Hit that panel and shut off this relay! That was close. Chell, I need to get this containment field down. There's an override in the Jeffrey's tube, just down that corridor. Okay, let's do that then. But, as I was saying before, yes, there's been this game called XCOM, which has been released, which I've been playing a lot, and my... That wasn't very convenient. Been playing a lot in my spare time. Um, so... That's basically been where all my spare time's going. But yeah, as I said, I've got a few projects that I'm going to be starting in sort of mid-November, one of which I hope to be a stream, and um, obviously I'm going to be continuing with a few of my LPs. Um, the problems I also had with uh, Voyager, as you'll notice me stumbling around here, I was getting a tremendous uh, memory leak on Voyager, which was causing it to be pretty much unplayable, and certainly not to uh, be at the level that I'd want it to be in order for me to do an LP. However, I realized it was affecting everything else and it turned out that my uh, antivirus system had a major memory leak in it and uh, I have since replaced it and Voyager appears to be working okay for the moment. So uh, I will continue it in its current form as much as I possibly can and hopefully we can uh, get on to some of the more interesting stuff. I've played up to where I am in the campaign again, and it seemed to be a lot smoother this time, so we'll just have to go around that area. You'll notice that I'm just being an idiot here and sort of getting lost, but uh, really it's not too difficult to find. You just keep going down this corridor, and uh, Torres is going to just hit me in the face, isn't she? Ah, here we go. And uh, what do they say? Deck 11 for engineering? Well, no, 11. Yeah, just make sure you don't jump down this gap. That uh, is generally not the way to do things. Uh, 
And here we are. But no, don't jump! Ugh, honestly. Warning. Hazardous material detected. What kind of hazardous material is that? Is it like Neelix is cooking or something? Probably is, to tell you the truth. And, oh, got there. And again, me being way overzealous with trying to use a ladder. Just got to remember, you cannot run up ladders. And there you go. It all ends up going down the completely invisible drain. No, I don't know either. But anyway, off we go. And, uh, yeah, this way. And there's Balana. Hopefully she's not going to kill me too badly. Monroe, what took you so long? We've got a warp core breach in progress. You need to get in there and shut it down. There are two things you have to do, so listen carefully. First, cut the power relays on the main floor. Then go to the upper level and decouple the dilithium matrix. Wait a minute. You're going to need a helmet to get through that coolant leak. I've got one in my transporter buffer. Hurry up and find those terminals. There isn't much time before we lose containment and have to reject the core. Hurry, Monroe. I'm not sure how much time you've got left. Attention. Let me fill in exactly how much time I've got left. Not a lot. Access denied. Monroe, I just remembered. You're going to need the access code to cut the power. Displaying power relay access code. Got it. Can't believe that. She just sends you in going, going to this incredibly hazardous access situation. Ha ha, locked you out. So, right quickly, got to get up here. And just switch the warp core off, which isn't going to help us in terms of getting out of here, but at least it'll stop the ship going boom. And the ship going boom is what we want to stop at this point. There we go. Warp core offline. Core breach averted. Good job, Ensign. That was touch and go there for a little while. No problem, Lieutenant. So, with our red shirt being nice and useful at this point, unlike most red shirts, we are going to uh, just head off to Hazard Ops. It's quite nice how uh, they introduced Vorik as well in the uh, team, so they are allowing minor characters to shine a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. Um. Intruder alert! All security and hazard team personnel to the loading dock. That isodyne array has to be modulated. Okay, I guess we'll go down there then. The thing that this game reminds me of a lot is the uh, Star Trek The Next Generation episode Lower Decks, where it centers a lot around the uh, sort of minions who are on the Enterprise, for want of a better term, rather than the guys who are actually all around running things. And that's kind of what the Hazard team look like. Oh, thanks for giving me a crappy phaser. Just come back here. Excuse me. Uh, I don't need medical attention at the moment, but what I need is a better gun. Aha! They're taking our supplies. We have to stop them. There are two of them behind a barricade in there. They're launching energy grenades. See if you can eliminate them. Ready? Yar, we have to take on pirates. Okay, and this is me sucking up the place. I'm terrible at it. This battle goes terrible for me. I actually do well at it usually, but uh, this was a bit of a mess on my behalf, to tell you the truth. I got hit by uh, an energy grenade, as you can see there, and I'm in real trouble as far as my life goes. But I'm going to be a complete coward and sit behind things. <laughs> Killed him before he even materialised. See if I can get some decent cover where I've got a shot at someone. I'm also running out of ammo here, which uh, this is what I was saying by how I managed to suck up the place in this. Uh, I'm trying to shoot through the eye of a needle there as well. I'm not sure someone to my left died there, but it's definitely possible. And yeah, I'm on the phaser at this point. The phaser is useful in the fact that it uh, recharges itself, so 
you'll never run out of ammo, but it's uh, weak as balls, basically. I'm heading back here for ammo, and I'm going to speak to the doctor as well. It's like, heal me up, please. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Please heal me. Here we go. Sniper mode. What? Herodian? I remember when I first heard about the Herogen, it was only on um, it was only on like a forum, so I kept calling them the Hyrogen. I'm not too sure if that's not a better name for them, but uh, yeah, we'll call them what they call them on the show. That's the Herogen. It's weird to see them here. <laughs> Surprise! Oh, I've got one of these cool rifles. Awesome. As you can see, it's um, basically an assault rifle. Tuvok to Foster. We're pinned down in Cargo Bay 1. We require your immediate assistance. Monroe, Tuvok needs help. Come with me. Yeah, Tuvok. You were calling me useless before, but now you need my help, don't you? Still, I've got a um, got my weapons rearmed. Yeah, the compression rifle, you'll notice in the bottom right that it's got a blue ammo meter and the assault rifle has like a purple or pink one. Um, that's because the compression rifle uses like energy terminals and the assault rifle uses dilithium crystals to power itself up. And yeah, this is just a sniper fight basically. We fight as a sniper here. Um, should be fairly easy. And uh, the assault rifle does damage in sort of small bursts. Uh, don't know if you call it an assault rifle or a machine gun, but whatever. It's like fires rapidly, and now I've had enough, so I'm just one-shotting everyone with the rifle, and uh, hopefully this should be over fairly soon. So that will be the end of this episode. Once it done, it's done. I'll let the uh, cutscene at the end of it roll, and hopefully the next portion won't be so slow. See you next time. They're on the run. We did it. We Tuvok to bridge. The intruders have been repelled. Well done. It seems our situation is worse than we thought, Tuvok. Report to the conference room. Acknowledged. Lieutenant Foster, have the team report to hazard operations.